where did you get your inspiration? For me, I was, it reminds me of uh, some paintings, paintings, paintings like El Bosco or Michelangelo or uh, those very beautiful paintings, very busy with activities like, I don't know, is that? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're totally right. Uh, I was definitely inspired by those uh, mid centuries um, uh, fresco paintings, mural paintings. And then if you look at those, there are so many stories happening in, on, in one wall. And then that's where I borrowed the idea of telling the story of opera from. That is actually because I wanted to capture the reflection of human life and society and history. And then in order to tell that story, I realized that it's going to be really hard to tell that in a very linear format. So that's how I decided to actually, uh, um, you know, um, execute it in that way. Uh, for me, it was amazing to see many activities simultaneously. I felt like in a, in a very productive or advanced society. Is it the future in your mind or is nowadays? You know, I've been always- Or a mix, I think, a mix, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually the mix. So I wanted to create a piece that's timely, you know, that can be enjoyed and view, viewed multiple times in the future as well. So, so that in any civilization or any culture, wow, that is our human society. You know, there's a war going on. There are so many like uh, social problems and natural disasters, pollutions and discriminations. And there are so many things that have been existing in our human society and life. So yeah, as you said, it could be our future, it could be our past, or it can be contemporary modern times. Uh, one thing that surprises me is the, the guillotine. Yes. <laughs> and you talk about that, was it a, a tribute yeah. to Jean d'Arc or something? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dark. It does actually really capture some of the uh, sad um, part of our human uh, life. Um, so basically there are prisoners getting executed on guillotine just because they have different thoughts and different ideas. It is uh, executed as a, um, they have different colors in their heads. So it stands for uh, different identities or different ideologies or anything. So just because you think different, you are different, you are uh, abused and you are imprisoned and you get killed by the other people, yeah. I love that part because I think it's a, a, a necessary political statement and you did it with great uh, you know, elegance, if you want, because it's a beautiful movie. So um, that's what I felt, but I didn't want to say it until you said it, because I thought maybe, maybe my interpretation is not right, but <laughs> I thought that you were reflecting parts of uh, so societies that are dictatorships, but at the same time, very free, because they're multi-situations. Multi so, uh, it was a little, yeah, it was a very, um, wait, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was okay. very, uh, it produced hope, but also it made me think of the things that are wrong. Yeah. So it made me optimistic and also, ah, this is not right, you know? That's really the Just, purpose of it, really revealing, because as you know, life and society, it's really consists of really beautiful, amazing things at the same time sad, terrible things in our life as well. Maybe I wanted to represent both sides of our human uh, humanity, you know, in, in yeah. a, or most honest, real ways. So Eric, give us a little of your background because for uh, younger people, they want to know how a young person like you got into the Oscars, <laughs> which is great, which is great. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I, I, I'm not that young, I guess. I mean, <laughs> I look young, <laughs> but okay. I've, been in, I've been in the industry about 10 years now. Um, I was at the, at the studio Pixar for a long time, actually. About, I was there for about 6.5 years. And then that's where I really um, um, was able to uh, learn and prepare a lot of things in my career as, as a filmmaker and an animator. So I started from there, but I've been always wanting to tell my own story. And then, so I never stopped telling my own story through small, short films. And then I think all those attempts and studies led me here. So through this narrative, you feel uh, liberated or you feel mm -hmm. more complete professionally, I guess, than in other experiences. At the end, uh, is your, your own story, your perception of the world that you're telling us, letting us know, right? Yeah, it is. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, it gives you give, gives me a lot of different emotions for sure. It's liberating, but the, at the same time, I feel much more responsible now. You know, as a as a as a human being and as an artist, you know, what type of story I can share with with people out there, so that hopefully I can make the world better than than yesterday. That's because what we are here for and what we are doing this job, I guess. Yeah. Uh, how important was it for you to be nominated? I think it's very prestigious and. It gives you a lot of uh, um, popularity or <laughs> presence in the industry, I guess. It is very important because, as you noticed, opera. I mean, this. Um, as you noticed, the short is very different from like what usually Academy uh, nominates and selects. So, I think this will give the creators and audience more of broader perspective to view the animation. Oh, wow, animation is not just, it doesn't have to be this one singular way because this animation has so much potential to tell the story in different uh, ways. So opera really showcases that. So that's really meaningful for the uh, art and industry at the same time. But even for my personal level, of course, this will really give me more opportunity to tell bigger stories of my own and hopefully share my you know personal stories with more people too in the future so eric my last question what i felt watching the movie besides many things is that you can use technology to to create a world and to tell a story so how important was technology for you i think you used a very advanced technology um actually or... <laughs> um yes and no because it's still i really it's it's done in 2d hand-drawn medium so uh, we didn't use any high tech technologies, but oh, everything okay. was digital. Everything was digital. So um, I think one of the things I do care though is technology is still the tool to tell the story. So um, medium or format or technology or device, those are really the tools for you to um, complete what your what your vision in your mind is. So I think I utilized it to do that yeah